My name is Julie, and I'm an activity leader at an elementary school. My house is the collecting ground for some of my passions. It is rather small, and my collections have become rather large. My name is John, and I'm Julie's husband. My house is a wreck. It's not functional anymore. Nothing gets thrown away. Nothing. I've just gotten into a new art passion. Now I know why I've been collecting things. If I have kept something for 30 or 40 years, there must be some value to it. So make it part of the art. She feels more attached to these inanimate objects than she does to myself or, or even our kids. My name is Kirsten and I'm Julie's daughter. I usually avoid going over to the house as much as possible just because it's so much of a mess. And then when I am there, I want to strive to clean it up, but there's so much mess everywhere that I just don't know where to start. My name is Kendra and I am Julie's daughter. Growing up, my mom, she just had a hard time throwing anything away. I have a one-year-old son named James, and he is not allowed in the house in the current condition that it is in. They park in front of the house, and we go out to meet him and then meet someplace. And that's so sad. I don't want him in the house either until it's been fixed. I can't live this way anymore. I'm not going to live the rest of my life in this situation. Stuff starts to go, or he goes. He's done. He's done. The basement was the first part of the house to fill. I would go down into the basement and find things that I had no idea we even owned. It is stuffed. So stuffed that sometimes we don't know what goes on. The back door, I sometimes found it open, and I wonder how could that happen, and um, found out that there had been this homeless lady kind of living in my basement. You were like, okay, this is kind of weird, and one day my mom came home, and there's this lady, like, coming up from our basement. And I kept asking my husband, Did, are you moving stuff around down there, making, like, a little nest? Obviously, our basement was the perfect hideout because, A, it's messy, and B, no one would ever dare to venture down there anyways. I don't know. It's a bit, a bit bizarre, uh, and we've given her the nickname Scary Mary. We had a, a, a major short of some kind in house sometime last year, I don't recall. When you walk into the kitchen, the lights don't work up above, so it's really dark. And it, sometimes at night it gets so dark it's very hard to make food, so I walk around with a flashlight under my chin, and I, I've perfected that. We simply can't get anyone in to fix it because they have to go through the wiring of the entire home to do that. And it just isn't practical with all the stuff in the way. So much of it just needs to be tossed. It's just things we don't use, things that we, will, we never will use. Just because he says so doesn't mean it's so with me. They're my things, my house, it's my life. You know, this is a serious problem. I, I think I'm at that breaking point now. I, I just cannot tolerate it anymore. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for being here. My name is Standalyn Robertson. I'm a certified professional organizer. I'm really excited about the day, and I'm really excited about helping Julie reach her goals. As an artist, there are going to be things that we won't even realize that are pieces of your work, but you're gonna help us with that. And I really think it's important, not only that you get your house back for your art, but also to get the house back for your family. Let's go. Yes. Okay. 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 Down. Okay. It's overwhelming, to tell you the truth. I've never had this many people in the parameter of my house. I just feel like I'm gonna be very exposed and I'm highly embarrassed. Mm -hmm. 
sale? Keep. I'm going to keep that and this. Mm. Art stuff. They also could be on an art project. That's a keeper. Everything is a keeper, especially if it's broken, because then it becomes a great object to use in her art. His beak is in here. It's hard for me to understand like why she keeps certain stuff around. You don't really need it. Why not get rid of it? Julie, yeah. the mice have made a nest. And I'm really angry at the mice. They're actually little tunnels. Yeah, I know. I can see it. Everything that you're keeping does not have a home, Julie. I just wanted to make a home elsewhere in the house, like there, in the basement. There is no more room in the basement. 40% of this you thought was junk. And what we're finding out is that only 1% is junk. You have an opportunity to have Christmas with James or Christmas in the mouse house. Can we throw away more stuff? No. OK, that's the problem. I'm okay. going to go back. I just want to have the final say, because I. You have too much final say. Oh my gosh, I'm done. We'll take everything that's out there now and put it back pretty much in the rooms that it came from. Do you feel comfortable with that, just that we'll just focus on this room? Yep. I'm frustrated with you, but let's, let's keep going. She's just not throwing stuff away. She's not going fast enough at all, and we're gonna get stuck with this still giant pile of mess, but now it's just in boxes instead of gone. Today I'm able to get out of work and uh, very excited about trying to get some stuff cleaned up and, and uh, get this project moving forward. Ah, there goes my piano. Did you get a couple of ivory keys? All I want are, yeah, just go ahead and... I, there were some that were already loose and off over there. This is going to be a real neat project eventually. The numbers aren't working. The more emphasis you can put on here of keeping the treasures would be really helpful. Quick, 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 quick decisions. Okay. It used to be an art piece. This, we really, we don't really need to keep this, do we, do? Yes. Just put it with the Christmas stuff. Maybe these are just broken pieces we can toss, right? They do go to the big, big snowflakes. Quickly pull out your gems. I need, I need those for that project at school. The rest can go? No, I haven't gotten that. Okay. Far. But with in the, the big of picture of what we need to put in your home, where does this, this fall? The more you go through it, the more you get pulled into it. How can you make this process go a little quicker? Right. Don't keep, don't keep interjecting. This, this, this. We're it's getting a bogged down here, Julie. We got a lot of boxes. You know, John, I know that. It's extremely difficult for me to, to, to be in a support role because I'm dealing with um, craziness. We're in such a hurry all the time. We don't take the time to smell one rose ever. You got a big garden here. It's hard to support craziness. Do you want to take a look and see where, just show me some spots where we're going to be putting things? Probably back in the room with the washer and dryer came out. Oh, they, they have lots of stuff to put back there. Oh. Really, only big space that I have is just going to probably be the living room. What is your preference for your mom, Kirsten, with regard to the stuff, going in or not going in? We've worked so hard to get so much out. It really comes down to like the bare necessities, like what do you need for an everyday basis to like live? And John, your preference, stuff in or stuff out? Stuff out is as is, is much progress as we can make. A box came, you know, came out and John was saying, you know, get rid of all of it, get rid of all of it. And this was in the very bottom of it. It's just my dad's stuff. You know, he had this for 50 years or more, and, and it's, it means a lot to me. But there are so many other things that you're keeping, Julie. This stuff has to go somewhere. And it sounds like the preference is it not to go back in the house, except you want it back in the house. Do you want to come in and show us where Sorry. we're going to put all the boxes? Yes, yeah, exactly. I haven't been in. Yeah, show us where we're going to put it.
when John and I were much younger and we, we had a daughter and we had to place her for adoption. She got given away. I didn't want to give her away. You didn't want that? Mm -mm. Who wanted that? He did. And so I feel like I've given up a lot. And I guess I just want some stuff back. And it's not the stuff. It's not the stuff. It's control of the stuff, whether it comes or goes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Do you feel like it could be better for you? Yes. But I have to make it better. I know it had to be done. I just kept procrastinating because it seemed like it was overwhelming. But I can see it can be done, and it does make a difference. Yeah. So I do want a better life. You know, and Stan and I are here to help you with that, mm -hmm. and hopefully other people will be here to help you with that, too. I wasn't going to cry. But you know what? That's, those are good tears because good you, tears. you finally claimed your space. Paint can go. Okay, great. Okay, are we letting this go? Donating? Yeah. Okay, great. Donating? Yeah. Okay, great. Toss. And toss. Look who's inside. Oh. Hi, buddy. Hey, look who's inside. Uh, hi, how are you? So I kind of wonder what she's seeing when she looks at James. I think a major factor in Julie's hoarding behavior was her having to give away a child. Oh, oh I love you too. being a fan of hoarders and subscribe to A&E for more videos and click the links around me to watch more.